This is Low Moon Uprising, and the story continues. Yeah, Nat. Yeah, Nat. Always. I can give two people an hour rest, or one person two hours of rest. Do I have any healing letters? I need you. I'm down 16. I haven't written down that I cast any healing letters. I don't think so. I am down a whole lot. Even Mel have any? She does. I'm down like 96%. Druid kept us for six hours to get spells back still, right? Four for first and second, six for third and fourth, eight Matt. for fifth and sixth, ten for seventh. One more. Matt plus two. Great, but we could just use Matt when we were yeah, to rest on me. Eight. Eight. I, only need, I only need four hours of sleep. We have everything above the six level spell. You got to sleep beyond that. that. No, it's not that. Anyway, yeah. you sleep for one hour under the effect of the nap, you get the effect of eight hours sleep. Yes. But you can't use the other four hours. So. What? <laughs> what? That's an hour, though. What? If we both use our <laughs> sleep in our rest, sleep on me, then I can sleep for I'm two five hours minutes. a minute. creepy guy. Don't. No, <laughs> <laughs> so you sleep one hour, you get eight. You know, now you sleep. Ten minutes, you get no, an hour and a half. You told me yeah. an hour of rest is one minute for one hour. It's a spell. Oh no, no, I was talking about the nap. So you're talking about not using the nap at all. Not for me. Okay. I have. I'm going to rotate, so I can throw any spells draw one. Yeah. Use use your hour of rest on me. Okay. You want two hours of rest? Yeah. Two. Yeah. I need. I need two. Well, I guess I don't need two. I need mine, mine gets one, two, three. <laughs> okay. I have okay. three for life. I am Ooh. down like ninety six percent. Okay. So <clears throat> I don't have any other deal. So, Ephemel, she says before you do before you cast your light. I got I do good berry. Let good me do. I'm seven level. I have good berry too. I get. I think okay. you're seven. Anyway, before you do that. I can help some who are, if there are some amongst you who are severely injured. Oh, I am. Yeah, me too. All of us are. <laughs> I hold out my boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> my boo boo. 59. Okay. I'm so happy I don't have to work tomorrow. Nice. Me too. <laughs> yeah. The deserted island sits Oops. silently. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I do not like the sound effect. Just so you know. <laughs> I do not agree with this. Uh, we're going to drag the bed. In You're the sleeping door. in Ogrim's Mountain, okay? There's probably a lich right next door. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, man. You just walk it past the door. Experience time. Time to die. Oh, sorry, I'm just Jerry's working out my pronunciation. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to learn to project more. I was practicing my evil monologue. <laughs> sorry, I'm just getting ready. Trying, to, trying to say it from my chest. He opens his cloak, his chest goes, Time to die. <laughs> I'm just getting ready. For we work. believe you, we believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, my evil so who, are, who is the worst off physically? I'm just getting ready. For uh, I, I only have five. Okay, so definitely Xavier. I'm only down 62 yeah, off of 42. I mean, no, like you're 16 off of 42. So. so you're pretty bad as well, actually. Yeah. Better. What are they? Okay, so. Um, Anything better than chain mail is better than plate mail. Two better than. What's the seven? That's the problem. Yeah. Would you rather run or die? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, Epamel brings Xavier and how many points is, what's your percentage down? Uh, Tell you what, Bowers, first good set of 75. plate mail or Okay, whatever. which is worse than Beyond, correct? Uh, Beyond is down 
66 percent exactly. Okay. But down is also down some in terms. All right, Narzari. Uh, very injured. Into <laughs> okay. From what? Bugs or... <laughs> I don't know. All right. So he's so she is gonna she brings Xavier and Azuri over to a stand that sits against the wall. That's kind of like just a, just an arch stand that sits against the wall. Uh, on it is a small. It appears to be a jewelry box. The front of the turn it down. The front of it. Uh, three <laughs> doors fold on hinges, like kind of like a, a room partition. And so she grabs the little handle and she pulls it out. Um, and then she casts a spell that takes six seconds. And Azuri, Xavier, and herself are shrunk down to be about like three inches tall, standing on the table in front of the chest. Thank you. Um, and then. <laughs> I didn't hear what he said. What he said? He said useless. <laughs> anyway, and then she takes your hands and she steps into the box. I assume you go with her. Okay. Yeah. I guess. All right. When the door closes, you arrive on a desert island that sits silently in the vast expanses of the ocean. Sandy shores, untouched by human presence. Palm trees sway gently in the tropical breeze, casting dancing shadows on the pristine white beaches. The crystal clear waters surrounding the island shimmer with hues of turquoise and deep blue, teeming with colorful fish and marine life. The island is a tranquil haven, a paradise of untouched natural beauty. Um, the soothing lullaby of waves caressing the shore and gentle rustle of palm fronds. There is a strong breeze coming from your right. You see uh, rugged cliffs rising majestically above the part of the island that's ahead of you to the left. Um, and she then turns and begins to cast a spell. I assume you're not reacting in any negative way. Not reacting. Okay. I am uh, just looking around very cautiously. Okay. She reaches out and gently caresses Xavier's cheek. And you are down one hit point off max. Nice. Okay. What is she getting at? Do we know? Uh, his name, it's an elven demigod that you were not familiar with. It's not a demigod, it's a lesser god. She's a demigod. Right. Yeah. And it's El, Elvera is, is his name. Yes, put it with your own. Okay, anyway, uh, then she turns to cast a spell on you. Roll for this shit. Don't touch me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And you are down one hit point off max. Dude, I like this lady. Yeah. Okay, and then she says, it's a short walk to the portal back, follow me. Okay. You walk about 100 yards and you arrive next to a waterfall that falls into a deep pool of blue. Um, and she motions to the other side. You can see there's a path that winds around the pond that's at the bottom of the waterfall. And next to the waterfall, there is a kind of basically like a stone alcove. And in the center of it, you can see a little wooden box like the one that was on the table. Um, at the edge of the pond, she makes a, like a swishing motion, and all of her clothes disappear, and she dives in the water, and she's swimming across instead of walking the path. I got a boo-boo! Okay. Yeah, so are you following the path around, or are you swimming? Xavier will swim to you. Okay. I'm knowing where we are, I think it applies to the same way she is. Okay, so you're swimming as well. I, however, do not take my clothes off. Okay. It's slower going. Yeah. I only doggy paddle. When you see 30, I mean, that's all I know how to do is doggy paddle. Yeah, okay. I, I even wrote that on my character sheet. It's only about 40 yards, so you'll get there eventually. Yeah, the only thing I know how to do is doggy paddle. Walking would take about three minutes. Doggy paddle will take eight to ten. So, okay. Right. Actually, she'll probably come back and pull you because <laughs> she said she didn't want to wait that long. So she comes back and grabs on you and drags you across. <laughs> <clears throat> is our hurry swim? Yeah, he's not a particularly strong swimmer, but he's okay. not stronger than that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you cross the other side. The two of you are thoroughly soaked. Um, and then you, she pulls you out. As she steps up, she motions with a hand, and her 
she is dry and her clothing reappears. Um, the sun was shining down on her as if it was a personal favor for a moment. Uh, then she steps up three shallow stone steps to in front of the box and she opens the folding doors on the box. It seems to be identical to the one that is in her chamber. She turns around and motions for the two of you to join her nearer to the table. She casts a brief spell and you're shrunk down to three inches tall standing on the table in the alcove, in the shade. Uh, and then she grabs each of you by the hand and steps into the chest, closes it behind her, and then you are, uh, in, you're in the chest for just a few seconds. The door opens, you step out onto the table, and you're enlarged back into the room. So they are gone for about five, about ten minutes total. Uh, when they step back out onto the floor of the room, they look fully healed, but wet. While they're gone, I'm like checking out the contraption that they just walked into. Okay. Um, basically, it looks like a jewelry box. It's flat on the top. It's made of a hint of red to it, but basically a brown wood is hand carved. Um, the front of it has doors that go like this, like a room partition. You pull a little knob over here and it moves all three doors out of the way. And they are currently closed as you look at it. Um, but you can see a, a faint light coming from behind the glass. It's frosted glass. Very delicate craftsmanship. Nice. Sits on the table. Uh, there is a doily under it on the table. It's about a foot in diameter and round. The table is actually uh, semicircular. It comes out from the wall like that. Like a buffet, if you're familiar with a buffet type piece of furniture. I'm familiar with a semicircular table. That'll work. Yep. Okay. There is a, a, a potted plant that is on the bottom of the table as well. It's green, some kind of... Uh, Flat leaf plant. Do you have herbology or uh, herbalism? I have. Alchemy, that's it. Okay, so I mean, you're familiar with those kinds of plants, but you don't know the name of that one. Gotcha. Okay. And anything else you want to do? Open it, climb in it. <laughs> I'm not meddling. Okay. Not tempted. All right. And then... Uh, should so have took FaZe with them. <laughs> about 10 minutes, and they're back. Yeah, FaZe is just laying over in the corner dead. Okay. Oh, I think Connor has some healing. Connor has some healing right now. All right. So, Azuri and Xavier are back and fully healed, but they're wet. Um, and then she offers uh, to cure Sirius for the remainder of her healing. I have a cure light available as well. Does she do natural healing? She does not. Natural healing. Blue blue. Blue blue. Form a line in front of the color healer. Healing two is two I'm down over a quarter of my hip. <laughs> I'm only 16 off the map. It just shows that y'all are bad at protecting me. It's the party bastard. Okay, who else needs natural healing? It was pretty drunk. Knock down, drag out for a hot minute there. I want to mine some healing, but. Uh, Jake is injured. He's down about a third. Phase is dead. And an elf. Jake. Points. Jake should be fine. I restored him, but I think it was during the fight. Yeah, I think he took. I had him as taking about a third of six points after that. Which is not too bad. Points. Fifteen to twenty. Anyone else still hurt? Are you still hurt? I'm good. Yeah, I'm down oh, sixteen. Looks like I have two boosts left. Sorry, I do have healing. You get six points back, and then. Around. I'll use two boosts. You're healing most people, right? I am healing. Working on it, so give myself a boost. One! That's awesome. I love give it. Myself right. another boost. My last one. Five! Yeah, yeah! yeah. We Five. are free!
sleep thing. <laughs> hey, who else says, sometimes it does interfere with my sleep when I stay here, so sometimes I go elsewhere. Um, well, Jason recovered four points. Have you ever spoken with management? <laughs> and then... The so walls are I 10 foot thick in every direction. I'm not sure it's physical. I don't... Check out The Moment Blood Bowl wherever you buy books. This is written by Pastor Daniel Stevenson, the longtime author and game master of Low Moon Adventures. There's probably someone who needs healing more than me. No, I'm, I'm currently down how much? 55, 56. I thought you got it. Well, I got it. Well, Zarya McZaker did. That was a guy that resurrected her. She really likes them. Okay, anyway, so she'll, she'll work on... Uh, I have Sandra's healing, too. I've never used yeah. to do She's going to work on uh, healing your move. Did, she, did uh, you do natural healing on him, though? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Okay. so Ten? That doesn't happen. Ten. I'm ready to prove it, buddy. Sonorous. Six. And nine. And down 21. Closer. Babies can't help. He did. Alright, uh, you're traveling with the demigod and you don't have enough healing. Three. What's the minimum? Less than three. What'd you say? So we're traveling with a demigod and we don't have enough healing. We got that guy outside. <laughs> okay. So you've been here about 20 minutes total, doing the healing, getting ready, whatever, realizing you got to get to sleep soon. You're going to get the full like benefit of your nap anyway. And... Um, there is a gong, and the the door is uh, barred like a. It's basically like a cross piece cage door, so it's not like this. It's every six inches up and every six inches this way. Um, and she goes and pushes the curtain back and looks to see who it is. There's somebody at the door, and um, the. Uh, she says, no, no, I don't think so. And then she closes the door. And then she comes back. And she says that um, one of the locals heard that Bayes was dead. And they're willing to trade a ring of regeneration for his body. But I told him no. I thought that was unethical. I don't know if you're going to want to try to bring your friend back to life or not, but... I wouldn't go trading him for magic items, of course. Are they selling it? <laughs> Very stand up of you. Okay. If we're in for the night, I'm going to place a glyph of warding on the door. Thank you. And then I suggest we get some rest. <laughs> I will give you the command phrase to have access to go in and out if you wish. No, it's more of a, if it's an explosive glyph, I don't want to be an Oh, no, I would, I don't use explosive glyphs. Okay. It's too chaotic, too risky. This one just kills you. Classic. <clears throat> Is there a privy in your chambers? Yes, there is. Oh, good. <laughs> it's right there in the corner. It's a chicken pot. It's where the phase is sitting. <laughs> Crap on my old character. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's more like an outhouse in, in the next room type thing. Okay. So unless anyone objects, we're going to do the math. Nap. Take an hour. Everyone gets healing as if you had slept six hours. Those of you who are napped. How many people can you nap at this point? Two hours of this. Your level. Me and eight others. Two, four... Oh wait, no. It's just eight. Okay. I always mix that up. Well, somebody's going to have to be on watch, right? Correct. No, let's go. You don't need a nap phase now. So yeah, you can nap all the casters for sure. Um, and then 
someone someone's gonna have to watch I, during the nap, and then I can go on the nap. I'll be willing to watch everyone while while they're getting ready and stuff. Okay, ready. that's fine. So Jake will stay out of the nap, and then he'll I'll go on the nap. Go to sleep no, after I'll, people are done and sleep six hours. I'll just watch. I'll just take basically watch for the rest of the night. I just need five hours for two minutes <laughs> plus nap. Because a nap is the equivalent of an eight hour rest, right? Correct. This is say we we had all these removed curses. We gave you a try. So, and you still could in the morning. You're going right. You're meeting her right outside his room. I'm getting rid of it and replacing it with spells to keep myself alive. Uh, if you wanted to, be, you could push for before the nap. It'd just take time. You'd say we're gonna go do it right before this. Like it took you about five minutes to walk here. So that is an option. We're doing it. We're doing it now. Is if that, you do it while they were getting healed, yeah, that's what we're doing. We'll just go do it now, and then we'll. No, they they were gone ten minutes total, and by that time, others were doing other things. So. And plus, you wouldn't want to send your two casters in the room with Ogren by themselves without serious support. That's the worst thing to have. Or without some <laughs> metal <bedroom> spray. Still <laughs> so go under the bed. That's what. That's apparently, like, that's what Azuri has. He has a ring of bedbug spray. Yeah. <laughs> Zuri's <laughs> pest control. <laughs> in in Elven, it's a great <laughs> Okay, so is that what we're trying to do? <laughs> yeah. So it's even Mel says we can do that if you want. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're gonna expedite that. So you you leave with Eva Mel. You go back to the room. You get Strove's attention. She agrees for you to come in. Um. You go in the room. Who's casting the remove curse? I think we're going to try to tandem do it. So okay, he'll start casting first. I will try to time it to where. Okay, so roll spellcraft minus four. Okay. Nine. That's my third nine. I'm skill check. Made it by one. Okay. Nine, 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 nine. And so you um. You timed it almost perfectly. I mean, you think it's going off at the same time, basically. Okay. Change this real quick. Get basically, as soon as he stopped saying, "Oh, great, Hermes, thank you for this opportunity," and then once he starts actually casting the spell, I start. He's <laughs> only two seconds. But Granny needs casting the spell. <laughs> That's how it works for me too. Okay, um, so you cast spells, both go off at the same time. So they work differently, obviously. So Theon is entreating Hermes to intervene and remove the curse, however it has been placed as a relative, just to kind of to bless to undo a curse, basically. Uh, whereas the remove curse of the magic user is literally trying to disassemble the curse and release it into it'll still have its identity but release it into non pointed uh, at the target okay? yes. a two prong um, attack a two prong attack yes and so uh, both of you can roll percentile dice flow seventy three bro wait Um, Depends on what level the person was who placed the curse. Higher than me. Well, if he's two levels higher than me, you fail. <laughs> nope, I don't have anything that can make me re roll. Okay. Um, so this is what happens. There doesn't appear to be have any effect on the curse. However, some information is gained. Okay. Um, and and uh, we're going to facilitate it this way just to cover the interest of time. So Brunson realizes that the actual supply, the energy of the curse is is out of reach. Like you strike at it with to, to try to sever it, um, but it feels like the spell doesn't actually reach it. Um, and then Theon realizes that uh, there is a curse here. 
but the curse is not actually physically on his body. Um, it is on something that is also his body that is distant from his body. So he's, he's being affected by the curse because the curse is affecting something that is not before you now. Is it phylactery? Um, no. Would it strike me as like a phylactery type of thing? <laughs> What's that? Would it strike me as like a phylactery, like his phylactery is cursed? Or so, I mean, <laughs> if he was a lich or used a phylactery somehow, then yeah, maybe. But he's not normally a lich. He's a living mountain giant. He's a living lich. But if he had somehow bestowed part of his life force or part of his heart or part of, you know, part of, then somewhere else and then it was their cursed, then that would make sense to what you're feeling. So both of you are fairly sure that geographically speaking, Casting a removed curse here on him or on that which is affecting him is not going to be effective because it is not here. The curse is not here. So if I were to cast a locate object fully on the object that this curse is attached to, would I be able to get clean anything from that? Sure. So if you ca if, so first of all, you can cast a locate object on literally anything with a three percent chance. Uh, but that being said, you have a little bit more information than that. You know that this thing has to be somehow tied to him or part of him or something like that. And so you know you would expect a better chance than 3%. Yeah. But it's not going to be like, it's not going to be like an, if you were trying to find your, you know, Phil, like you lost Phil and then later we're trying to find it or something because that would be like 80, 90% chance. You cast a spell, you're like, oh wait, hey, it's just outside the room. Oh, here it is, it's his door stuff. Oh, crap on your butt. Craig, hold this door open. I know. <laughs> you're part, you're part of his life force into his door stuff. There it is. Door goes out. Door goes out. Door goes out. Door goes out. This guy had little blue pieces of paper. Hey, I was going to pass to check live when you got here. I forgot. I specifically took it this morning. Okay. And just to be by way of clarification, when they went back to the room to cast remove curse, did everyone go? Or did some people stay behind so they could be picked off? I stayed behind. I stayed behind. I stayed behind. I stayed behind. Adam, Adam has already stayed behind? Okay. I want to say, um, he also, Adam will also fall asleep. Have what? Adam will fall asleep. I'll give him an hour of rest or two hours of rest. Falling asleep by yourself in the room? I will. Oh, okay. It would have gone. Okay. Okay. So right now, Adam is the only person staying in the room by himself, and you know that. This room is surrounded on every side by terrible, evil is there things. Is there any to be aware. staying in the room? Azuri will be sleeping Azuri for is. four minutes. Okay. All right. Same, same. Let me see if that's enough time to kill Adam. What? Nope, he's still alive when you wake up. Okay. <laughs> then I'll start meditating. You wake up and I have a day. What? It's going to give you a 17 to D20 chance. All right. Um, okay. So let's see. We're gonna check for random encounters. Thanks. Okay. So you're in the room. Did you say you're resting, going to sleep. Yes. Okay. Uh, you got a pillow from somewhere. Off the uh, yeah. All right. Uh, roll in twenty to see if you're actually asleep yet. And the jury is meditating. Oh, five. Okay, roll, uh, you actually meditate, correct? Yes. Roll a 20 to see if you're meditating. Yes, you a meditative state. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Is too big to go in? Just ate it? No, man. Okay. All right. So you have reached a light meditative state. Uh, in the room, you know that Adam is sleeping or going to sleep. And you know that... Um, there are constant strange sounds from around the room. They've been gone for maybe six or seven minutes at most. All right. You cast the remove curses. You gain that information. Are we doing anything else? Now we're going to bed. Going back to go to bed? Hey, this is what I found. Well, this is what I found. Oh. That kind of makes sense. They both seem to back up what they said. 
weird animal? Is like an animal friendship? Do you know way back? Locate out there? Yep. That's it before. It may be wise of us to attempt to utilize a locate object, or at least have one or more hanging out there. Find this substitute. I yeah. don't know. I'll check. Yeah. Not an animal friendship. Gonna run some spells. Burn okay, there's something. Oh boy, I'm gonna look forward to casting Fane Death in the morning. I bet you there's tons of magic around here. Fane <laughs> <laughs> Death, one hour. <laughs> Time to die. Useless. <laughs> Just run into combat. <laughs> like right then, I'm going to combat right now. Well, well, right after my last save point. Why are all of the Spells I need for this group of people third level. I think I think the guy. I never ever need third level spells. Except today. Yeah. Except today. Yeah. Yeah. We're just third level kind of adventure, though. Great challenge. Uh, I need to keep prayer in memory. Yeah, prayer should be good. Yeah. 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 Or replace my to replace and replace my dispel magic with prayer. If I go down to one remove curse, thinking that I can get the remove curse in less than two tries with prayer. What does prayer do? Prayer is a dispel, dispel magic while going down into an archmage's magical like mountain could be useful, although he is an archmage. Yeah. <laughs> so, so your chance is like. Five percent <laughs> to take out any magic that he crafted that was long term. So you're gonna start coming that twenty three old guy. Um prayer is a um, it's like prayer in Pathfinder. It's the same thing. You get a plus one bonus on all of our attacks and save and minus one on all of our attacks and save. But there's no saving building. Mm-hmm. It's neat, but like I don't know if it'll add us. That's probably one of the That's something you're going to be casting during combat, but generally you don't. I would, I would actually probably cast it during the combat. If you know what's happening. I think utilitarian is more useful here. The plus one bonus, minus one, probably. Well, it's the saves that are actually more helpful. That or disabling a magical defense sort. Another shot at the curse that we got into. I'm only taking one teleport. Okay, so the, I assume you the group that went to the cave is going back, correct? Yeah. Okay. All right. So meanwhile, before you get back there, Azuria is meditating. Adam is trying to go to sleep. Okay. Um, you're laying on the floor. What, uh, roll 46 versus wisdom. Jeez, what is that? What fish? 4d6. 4d6. There's three of them. Need one more. I think I should take two fireballs. Two fours and five and a two. Uh, uh, we're going to be on the ground. Probably not. What is your wisdom? Yeah, maybe not. They're closed areas. Oh, okay. okay, so, all right. So you are blissfully, like just nodding off, blissfully unaware of anything that might be going on in the room. Aaron, roll a d20. Looking for a particularly low number. 13. Okay. You also are blissfully unaware of whatever might be going on in the room. But that just barely falls out of that. It's like... Oi! Don't move the table. Okay. Um... All right, so any you know, anyone is coming after Azuri or Adam. Even will be Azuri. I have three versions. It is even. Okay. Uh, Aaron, roll again. D20. Yeah, it's a level version of it. Oh. Six. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> Hold on one second, I'm going to send you a picture. Giant with a room I don't think we'll need sending, right? Probably not, I don't 
Perhaps you'd like to write for Low Moon Adventures. The Prince Albert series on Kindle is a short story series where you can write your own based on our prompts and donate them or donate half their profit to the ministry. Sending those treatments always a good idea. Okay, sending Aaron. Button. You should have a picture on your phone. In, uh, okay. Um, little other. You open your eyes, sitting cross legged on the floor. I'm going to assume your bow is in your lap. Does that sound right? No, I don't have a bow. Actually. No bow? Okay. Any weapon? Scimitar. Scimitar in your lap? Third. Or in yeah, probably, probably yeah. You could transfer up or down. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. I'm and down. you open your eyes and see that creature standing over top of you, uh, and you're pretty sure what caused you to wake up is there is a sort of a wet sensation on your thigh, um, and you can smell smell like what smells like rotting flesh, um, and you can see that there's a long string about ten inches of slobber that is hanging from the bottom of his lip, and he, he must have just like dripped on your leg basically. Yeah. Okay. And you may roll for surprise. You are surprised on a one to three instead of one to two. Two. You are surprised. Okay. Don't die. We just brought you back. (laughs) (laughs) So, item. Just one new item. Okay. Um, And so you basically. You come out of meditation, you are surprised, you gasp, like, because <gasps> he's in your face, and that's totally unexpected. Well, when you do that, he seems taken aback a bit himself, and so the first surprise segment passes with him, like, a bit in shock and trying to figure out what just happened, uh, but then that still leaves you with one segment of surprise. Um, Jason, roll 4d6 versus wisdom to see whether or not Adam wakes up at the gasp. It would be no. Two fours of six and ten. Nope, you're blissfully unaware. Okay. Um, right, and so in the one, he cannot coup de gras in a surprise segment because um, it's a full actions round, full rounds action, and because you're technically not not moving, you're just not able to get an attack in. That would be a cool weapon if we should see. They're a little bit overpowered. Okay, anyway, um, but nonetheless, he is attacking you with his axe. He will hit. Uh, for 10 points. Um, and it hits you on the shoulder, and then as you're kind of, you were grabbing your sword and rolling to the right, it clips the top of your head as well. So it goes off your shoulder and off the top of your head. Uh, and then he's, he's, Double-handed, raise over, standing over top of you as you're laying on your back, and he's bringing the axe down towards you. Okay. But you can roll initiative. This is a new round, no longer in surprise. What was the thing? I thought it was shooting. Uh, okay. Uh, initiative six. Scimitar. I don't know what the scimitar does, but it's a magical scimitar from the Bard language doctors that I was think to may have something to do with me. Okay. Yep. Are you proficient? Yes. Okay. All right. So you're in initiative six. Um, and you may roll hit. Okay. Not good. Check out Things Were Different Back Then, the origin story of Lord Victor told from a certain point of view. Before a nap, I could look at the skull market. So without, so without magic of the sword, I hit an AC. Yeah. Okay, that's a miss. He is returning fire with the axe. Uh, what is your current AC? Uh, three. Uh, he'll miss. Um, so there is, you know, clang, clang, clang in between the actual openings and uh, battle has ensued. Jason, roll 3d6 versus Wisdom. We'll see whether or not Adam wakes up realize there's not fighting in the room. Four, two, and five. Four, two, and five. Nine, it's eleven. So exactly. So you wake up. 
Uh, you look across the room and you see um, Missouri fighting that. Okay. He's the only other person in the room. He has a scimitar. It has an axe. You gotta be kidding me. I will. I have my Kopesh. I usually get my Kopesh like placed next to me on the walls. So I'll grab it and I'll run over and I'll attack it. Okay. So you jump to your feet, grab your Kopesh, and that pretty much is gonna. And run over there. It's pretty much gonna be around. Uh, Aaron, after he attacked Azuri back with the. Um, Axe, you get a second attack with the scimitar. That's nice. Uh, that's a little bit better. It hit AC3 before magic with the scimitar. That is a hit. Alright. And scimitar is D6, correct? Yeah. Correct. D6. Six. Uh, but a nine. What was your strike? Yeah, nine damage before magic. Nice. Okay. Uh, so he's slashed across the midsection, rips open his tunic, and uh, guts and muscle are showing. He howls in agony. Okay. Uh, Adam rushes up and is there. Uh, and we have an initiative, all three of you. Damn, six again. Vocalize. Three. That just means I don't have to use any material components for the spell. Any sure. vocal components. Oh, I don't have to Unless use you have vocal a variant. The only, it, that's all it does. It makes it so you don't need any vocal components. Unless you have a variant. Vocalize. So, vocal components. I, oh, okay. <laughs> the, from the name of the spell, I assumed it vocalized all my components. Oh, meaning, no. It, it was only vocal components. Right, it replaces vocal components. So like if you're silenced 15 foot radius, for example, you can still cast all your spells. Does it require a vocal component? <laughs> so ironic. I don't think so. That would be some, some irony right there. <laughs> yeah, silence. And also, you can cast spells in silence, which also is kind of a cool thing. So, but even then, if you couldn't do it, if you if you did if you did have a vocal component, you'd have to cast it first and then go get the full me. benefit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, melee nine, eight, seven. Six. six. Okay, he has six as well. Scimitar. I uh, AC negative three. Okay, you hit, he hit as well. Eight Ooh. points. You're the thieves. I'm moving the table. Eight points uh, plus magic. Okay, uh, you hit him, he slams back against the wall and falls down in a bloody heap. Yeah, but he did hit you. He, in fact, he lets go of the axe. And the axe is still stuck in your armor and partly in your shoulder, and you take 16 points. Ow. Yes. And he is dead. Adam, you may hit him if you wish, but it appears he is dead. Okay. What did you say? said, yes, I'm not meditating. Yeah, that was fairly a much exertion right there. Yeah. Although, technically, you could still do it. You just have to go to sleep for four hours. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, sure, they haven't napped yet. Yeah, that's, so that'll solve it. it. Yeah, that'll solve that's it. Like, I was planning on using the extra six hours I was going to have to make the bow. Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't have the bow stuff? No. You might be able to ask somebody here for a bow. What kind of bow do you use? Long bow. I have a short bow. All I can say is I know your pain, good sir. I know your pain. Okay. So on the way back to Ibamel's chambers, two things of interest happen for the rest of you. Um, so the first is a skunk, roughly about 15 inches long and 6 inches high, is skulking along the corner of the hallway. So you have to stop. Because everyone in their right mind knows that if you startle a skunk, you could get sprayed. And so you stand and watch as it comes down the hallway toward you along the edge of the hall. And then when it gets to the corner, it's about 15 feet away, but it's definitely turning left away from where you're at. Which is pointing its sprayer right at us. <laughs> well, on a 90 degree angle. Okay? You might have second pool. That's, a, that's actually prime yeah. targeting location. Is it? Nice. 
Okay. Can I, uh, Okay, you're gonna animal friendship the skunk or attempt to you? Please don't. Okay. Uh, he stops. He looks at you. Turns his head slightly. And he begins to walk over to you. It's coming right for us! Yes, everyone's like, what? Spread out, spread out, spread out. I start casting. Air effect. Look at it! He's casting. Yeah. He's spraying. He sprays a missile fire. I look at him and go, now. I'm sure he does. Keep it in your pants. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. This is so you have that, to keep him with you for the full hour to know whether or not he is animal friendship. All right. Okay. And yeah, act, well, after one is. full hour, <laughs> if you are successful in keeping him with you, then he will be a friend. Come on, buddy. It's if he failed to say. All right. And so, yeah, he does think a little bit around the rear end area. It's not terrible. It's not like he sprayed or anything, but <laughs> yeah, he does think right. a little bit. Okay. The other thing that is interesting is there are six large, bulky individuals. They appear to be human, but tall, like six and a half feet, um, broad shouldered with axes, uh, mu uh, clearly muscular underneath their clothing. Uh, and they're wearing gray, all matching gray cloaks with hoods. Uh, and they are coming from the area of the door to Eva Mel's room. At the point at which you go down the hallway, they, they turn, they were at the end of the hallway, they turn and they're walking directly at you as you're heading toward the door. And there's nowhere else that they could have been. There are no turnoffs. This is a straight hallway that leads to her barred door. Um, but they don't seem like they're not sweaty or act. They, don't, they weren't doing anything. Not sure why they were down there. She's with us, right? Correct. So, uh, do you know those guys? No. I mean, there are lots of them around here, but no, I don't know them. Jake in front. Doesn't look like they've been in the room. I do have my sword on. Okay. Jake loosens his sword, but doesn't draw it. All right. So they go single file and intend to pass you in the opposite direction. Okay. Okay. Right. They walk past. I got a secret weapon. <laughs> They'll never see it coming. <laughs> Open your boat. Ah! <laughs> Pocket spray. <laughs> you arrive back at the door to her room. She Let's opens go. it, clears the glyph warding, and you enter. In the room, you see a muscular, kind of bluish skinned, uh, six and a half foot tall individual in a tunic only, sandals, laying dead against the wall. And Azuri and Adam are here, and you guys are probably still awake. It's only been like two minutes since you finished. Yeah. Okay. Hey. At a party? Um, what happened? They kind of randomly attacked us. So we took into initiative, and Azuri kind of killed him. I didn't wake up until the fight was halfway over. I think you got the wrong room. <laughs> Jake says, it appears so. I say we throw him out the window. Or maybe hang him off the balcony as a warning. Jake says this? Yeah. It's a little dark, brother. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I do it with the results. When in the room lands. Win a full march, but I see your point. <laughs> Tactically, we must speak the language of the locals. I do. He's dead anyway. Oh, okay. All right, so hang him off the balcony. Okay. So people can see he's dead. <laughs> I guess I walked up over there. Yeah, all right. I got rope use. Okay, so you got him hanging off the balcony, and uh, she's going to place the second glyph of warding on the balcony since you, once you tell her that's how he came in. Because you're pretty sure that's how he came in because the door was still shut. Yeah. Um, um, also, Jake will say, pretty sure those guys outside were probably with him and he was supposed to let them in. So that means there are still a half dozen of them out there that are wanting to get in here. I want to meet our group of worship. I 
position is come next to the skulls. This is why we have a guard. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're scroungers. They're like, they'll eat anything. Yeah. I'll do a good berry and I'll lay it right right next to the door. Okay. Well, he has to stay with you within a few feet for the hour. So if he's by the door, you have to be by the door. Uh, Sure, I'll do that. Okay. Make a saving throw versus spell. uh, Constitution bonus applies. Oh, wait, let me know. I don't. Okay. So by the end of the hour, your sense of smell has been adversely affected. Oh, it's like being a <laughs> So you'll be slightly less uh, uh, astute in smelling things for a while. Look, I should pay. <laughs> I hate to tell you, but your friend stinks. Hey, hey. Long had our bad days, okay? You didn't mean me, Sylvester. Okay. All right, now we're picking up the face. Lanat, which now apparently includes Azuri. How much meditation did I get? Uh, much at all, right? Not much. No. Ten minutes. I just hope if we save Ogre, I'm going to help train him. It's <laughs> like, so get my level. Oh my goodness. Let's Sounds play risky. something else so I can finish off risky. Right yeah, like you, you get trained by him and you're making great progress, and then you mispronounce a rune and he rips your head off by, you know, just to literally rips your head off to show you that you were wrong or something. That'd be yes. terrible. That's not in the contract. <laughs> he goes, I'll make sure I put the no death clause in there. Then he goes, Resurrection. All right, let's continue the training. No, <laughs> you're still a death. It's violates the contract. <laughs> it violates the contract. Okay. All right. So. Nap with Jake watching, then sleeping after the nap, um, and meditation and memorization, and I'll check and see if there are any more interferences. I'm breaking a fifth down into the Okay, so the only thing interesting that happens for hours is several hours into Xavier watching everyone. Uh, you see you're in the area of the balcony and you know the keywords. You can actually walk on the balcony if you choose to, but you've not been going all the way out because then you could be exposed to like archery or dragon breath or something like that. But you can, you can step in the doorway and look over the edge of that balcony and you see down amongst the crowds because there are crowds all around Overham's Mountain and in every direction like camp, tents, people training with weapons, Several dragons, giants, military units. There's a wall, and the city goes on beyond the wall. I mean, it's it's a huge, Wait, sprawling right. metropolis. Um, this but is all inside this mountain. No, outside. Oh, outside. All it's around the mountain. Um, and as you look out there, you see probably about like a half mile away from the mountain, and off by like like the one o'clock, basically from looking straight out. It's over here. You see what appears to be some kind of a magical battle take place. Um, and there's a, what looks to be a fireball, uh, there's some flashes of light, like electricity or lightning or something, uh, there's a, a crumbling of the ground area and like four buildings fall down and a huge sinkhole sinks part of the street. And then the, the battle ends as four huge, look like probably a hundred yards across meteors rocket down on that area. And as they get down small, they're very small, like. 30 yards across and they go and it goes up in the air like 50 yards of flame straight up in the air and then everything in about probably 50 yards in every direction all the buildings every innocent to everybody that's in the area is leveled just rubbled and then it's quiet and then you see people kind of filtering into the area and picking through the rubble and the remains and start to clean up the mess basically like uh looters but it doesn't seem to, it doesn't really affect you but you realize that there is some very powerful individuals and considerable instability in the society below am I able to check the scroll market before I go to bed before sure before you what before we go to the map uh, you can depends on I mean you just want to do it real quick yeah. Okay. Because everybody will be waiting and then you'll have less time to memorize spells afterwards. 
What? Oh, you don't need that. <laughs> they're gonna hand me something. I don't know. Yeah, they're gonna hand me something. Okay. Uh, Just in case there's something I'm gonna need. Well, yeah, it also would have to be ending. Yeah, I know. Sometime. Like in the next hour. And, I mean, you could set a buy order for while you're memorizing, and then once you get it, before you can memorize it. You know? True. So you could kind of squeeze it in. Pull it up. There is a sixth level uh, disintegrate spell, and it is selling for eight thousand four hundred gold. How long? What? Uh, it is due to end in four hours, so it would be during memorization period. Okay. In my estimation, how much could I expect for something like that to go for? Like, I mean, being it's over generous. It's a pretty powerful spell, and it's pretty popular. So, expect to <laughs> one kill or destroy an item or things like that. Um, so, at this level, maybe ten to twelve thousand. So I can't. Do I set? I can't remember. Do I set? A, High price. And yeah. That's what I'm willing to go up to. Yep. It's kind of like eBay. Yeah. Like so okay. you set a price and a time, and it'll basically auto bid for you up to as long as somebody keeps bidding, it'll outbid them. And it usually it does it by a hundred gold. So like if they bid fifteen hundred, it'll go sixteen hundred. If they bid fifty five hundred, it'll go fifty six hundred, and that will just keep going up until somebody's not willing to pay that price anymore. Okay. <laughs> Okay, but there are other a couple of other spells on there that are potentially of interest as well. Okay. I'll take a look at that first. So there's a third level spell, which is hold person. Hold person. Okay, so the hold person is a variant. Uh, and it is personally delivered. So basically, you cast the whole person on a warrior in your party previous to combat, and then when they strike somebody with their primary weapon, the whole person is delivered by touch. That is dope. Uh, it has a limited number of rounds. It's implied it's equal to your level, that it will re remain on the person that you cast it on to carry it, basically. Um, and the person that is attacked by the whole person gets a saving throw, but it's at a substantial disadvantage. Because it's only because, one person. Well, and because it's delivered by touch. But it's delivered by touch of weapon. Uh, it's implied that if they deliver by touch of hand, that the, would be, the disadvantage would be so complete as to basically be no saving throw. Wow. Ooh, Red needs that. <laughs> Okay. How much yeah. did that go? Uh, so that is selling for thirty-seven hundred right now, which is kind of low. Okay. Not terrible low, but it's kind of low. And it is due to end in six hours. Okay. Okay. And then the last one. Ooh. It's a doozy. Potentially. Okay. 
Ha. That's a good one. Bali. Bali. Se- Sunflow spell Bali. Wow. Um, and it is. Where were all these great results before? <laughs> currently, well, it's random, so. Yeah. Currently uh, selling for. $12,300. So basically, you know, Dolly does. It turns back any spell that targets you on the cash flow. Turns it back. It has to be something targeted, you, not just something where the area of effect does. It's got to be something targeted you. And then they, and the Dolly battle begins where they make their save, they can send it back to you, but then you can save and send it back to them and you can come back for it, back for it until somebody fails. So you can potentially still be hit by it. But the first volley is automatic. It would be nice to have a seven level spell that I can transfer stuff into. Because I don't have any seven level spells. I'm never gonna. It's gonna be a long time before I get seven level spells. If I can, two levels from now. Well, it can be cast as a scroll, but that's a really expensive scroll. Unless you're writing it. Yeah. So I mean, you can write it. I'm more worried about hard to write spells. You can't. Is read. that all of them? Yes, that's all the ones that are going to end in the time frame you need. Continually right Unless something comes up in the next few hours. Well, I didn't memorize it. That's dangerous. Very dangerous. Yeah, the right spell has built in negatives for any spells that you can't cast, too. It's actually in the description. Yeah. Gotcha. So it makes it well, much no, more dangerous. It says you can cast up to a spell, or you can write a spell that's up to three levels higher than what you can cast. Right, but I think it says something like the detriments are for spells that are above your level or harder or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's a penalty of some kind. Well, anyways, I'm just going for the disintegrate and the whole person. Okay. All right, so do you have uh, coin amount limits that you want to try to do? Yeah, the disintegrate, I'll do a cap of 20,000. And the whole person variant, I'll do a cap of. It's at 12 right now? Or no, that was like a 7. Right? Uh, one at 12 is the 7. It was at 8,000. 8,300, I think. 8,300? I thought it should have been 7,000. Might have been 70. Anyways, I'll set a cap of that up I can to 15,000. Okay. No, not fifteen thousand. That's too much, right? I mean, too much. it's a lot. We'll do twelve thousand max. I mean, if you set it at fifteen thousand, if it goes for twelve thousand, we're gonna buy it for twelve thousand. So you know what I mean? It just depends on. If you go like, well, I paid fifteen thousand. I feel like I got ripped off, and that would be too much. <laughs> like, okay, I'm gonna check and see if anything's gonna come up in the next period of time that might be pertinent. So that's what thirty-two thousand total that I'm setting aside. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. But it doesn't cost you nothing if you don't buy it. So. Right. I lose. I got 37,000 total in my account. In my low moon and, uh, or sorry, my. Okay, when you go back, in, when you go back in later to check and see whether or not you won, I, I um, there were, there's also, that came in short duration. There is a um, protection from cantrips, the second level spell, and um, it, it has a variant on it where um, it can be cast in advance and it will cast automatically if someone casts a cantrip at you. Um, or it will protect you from a single first level spell one time and dis- dissipate. Wow. <laughs> Means it could protect you from magic missile or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, and it is, it, when it comes out, it's uh, or when you see it, which is not long after it comes out, it's already selling for 2,500 gold, uh, but it's due to end in an hour. If you don't want to miss any of the story, Low Moon Origins, Uprising or Outsiders, like and follow our podcast. Please share it with friends. So I'm at 32,000 where I set aside, right? I'll put it at 3,500 now. 3,500 now.
Alright? Okay. So that's 32 and 30. Four, 35. 3,500. 35,500. Okay. Okay. I got them. Alright. So the percentage rate. Sell my hotcakes. These disintegrates. They will be if I get a hold of it. <laughs> Memorize, right? Memorize. Uh, okay, so the disintegrate goes to you at 17,000. Sweet. We're going to be seeing a lot more disintegrates. You start putting that on the market. <laughs> so 17. Okay. The whole person? 20,000. Yeah, but he's Sure. I'll keep this spell in your game. Unfortunately, I can't memorize it yet because the whole person goes to you at nine thousand four hundred. So nine thousand four hundred. So that's um, twenty six three so far. Twenty six. Twenty six four. Twenty six thousand four hundred so far. How much did you say it went for? I'm sorry. Uh, nine thousand four hundred. Here, yeah, 20, 1070, 10743. Left. Yeah, okay. And then the protection from cantrips. Oh, that's <laughs> does not the spell, I do does it. not go that's to you. <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah. really. Nope. It. it goes to another mage at forty four hundred. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, it's been. It's more meant to be, boys. I'll send my disintegrate. That has been a brand new one. It's freaking disintegrate. Yeah, I'm going to find some variant that fall. while it, it stays on you until someone casts a cantrip on you or its duration. And then nice. if someone targets a first level spell at you during that time, the spell is canceled and it cancels the first level spell. Oh, so it's. So basically, it's proof versus one magic missile. One yeah, we do it for yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. the value there. That's the ultimate counter to Brent's. But to anybody that's relying on magic missile. Well, I mean, him and specifically, he's got instant speed. Uh, that magic I mean, missile. he's still a normal mage outside of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it definitely takes well, away one of his. Mages who are prepared and worth their salt bring minor globe anyway. So that takes care of first through third level spells. <laughs> they do what? They, they come into combat with Minor Globe, which takes care of first to third level spells. Yeah, I need to get one. Yeah. What is that? It's a third level spell that takes out first to third level spells. You can't be okay. affected like by them. Yeah. You're, you're sure it's, it's called Minor Globe of Invulnerability. That's nuts. Globe of Invulnerability. Globe of Invulnerability goes to fourth. Oh, that's oh you mean the, the level of the spell? Yeah, you said it's a fifth level. Right? Globe of Invulnerability is fifth level. Yeah, I think you're right. It's fourth and fifth. I think yeah. I said third, but it's fourth and fifth. Yeah, we dealt with one of those. Uh, There's a third that gets rid of first and third. Yeah, third fourth third. level minor globe. Yeah. Fifth level globe. Right? No, sixth level globe. Globe is sixth. Oh, sixth and then five oh. level. That, yeah, that, that's right. Four and six or five and six? Four and six. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Did that. Sorry, did that. That's why Archmages don't normally get hit by magic Sorry. missiles. Because <laughs> Ren, Ren tried to pull monster and that. Yeah, I think so. One, one, yeah. One, 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 yeah. One, one, okay. The nap goes off then without a hitch. The wow. skunk Oops. is animal friendship. <laughs> Uh, no additional attacks in the room. Xavier observed a magic battle downstairs that seemed to include some very powerful magics. Um, when I saw that, did any of it look like the other one? Other than the fact that it was very powerful to be used under those circumstances, no. It looked like magic. Um, I roll to see if I know these spells. Sure. Disintegrate. Not a problem. Thirty-five. And um, whole person. A person. Thank you. Forty-six. No problem. Combo. No <laughs> the arsenal has been further loaded. Okay. So then it is the uh, 
Druidic spells rotated? Are we doing that? Jason, pass. I'm not rotating. I'm just. And I need a pencil if you don't want me to do this in pen. I lost my pencil. I have two thirds, five five, five person, five seven. Two, five, five. Um, the old person variant, that's still third part, third level, right? Correct. Okay. Um, after perusing it and now that you know it, there are two stipulations. Oh. Uh, so we're not in the description of the spell. The first of which is the individual to carry the old person must have previously been held. Must have what? Previously been held by an opponent. Oh. You can't do it yourself. Gotcha. So, and don't have to be that day or anything. It's sometime in the past, they have to have been affected by a whole person spell themselves. Um, have you ever been affected by a whole person? Yeah. I began casting. <laughs> has to be cast by an enemy. Ah. Yeah. Has. Man. J cast. I overpaid. J cast. Yeah, J cast. Yeah, but Jake will want to use it. I'm not sure. Like, oh wait, it'll totally incapacitate the opponent that I'm fighting? That's not fair. Yeah. Hey, you don't have yeah, to tell him in advance. Fair. You don't have no. to tell him in advance what you're up to. You're just going to assassinate him anyway. <laughs> some things survive that. <laughs> Few things, but some things do. If some things survive that, it's probably going to make your thing. Also, it's a nice thing to have going in combat in case I get locked in one I'm not good at it. Just, okay. oh. Assassinate a dragon. Most of us are gonna have a hard time believing anything else about it. Again, like it's gonna make it safe if it survived your back step. The honors are not standing. <laughs> yes, but I mean, he has more health than most of the party. He's on the upper half. You forgot to erase your hours of rest. Oh, I thought I got them. Oh, maybe they don't erase. It's a very hard to erase pencil. Looks like a pencil. Oh, yeah. It's a pen. One, two, three. Now I'm very, four. I'm very careful to make sure he uses a pencil, not a pen, or my, or my spell sheet. Or I like to have to make a new spell sheet. Oh, I just write it around the pen. Yeah, one can only write around a pen for so long because one only has so much paper space. Oh, uh, start using it. God made erasers for a reason. Start using a pencil from there. If I were playing a druid, I'd be changing my sheets all the time, so I wouldn't care. <laughs> I'd be like rewrite my sheets constantly. Yeah, or make them electronic. If I were playing a druid, I would be using like something electronic. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. Awesome. These mage spells are all electronic. I'm all paper and lemon. Well, Dorkian spells change a lot, so I figured I should start off with it. Right now, I can do right from memory. Because <laughs> it doesn't have much stuff. Yeah, I can do fire on spells from memory. I can do right on spells from memory. That's so easy. I memorized for two seconds. Swing sword. I just not do Because everything's fine. Literally. Ooh. It's also a great show. He has a proficiency. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. You never know when you need to slip a little something, something, and something, you know? Yeah. He's got sneaking, time. sneaking into events as a show. One of his uh, gear, when he can disguise himself, and one of his own. He can't forget to leave back. He can't 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 leave back. G U A R E A T O P. You know what? I think it's R U. What? R U A N T. It does have a word. Guarant I can never spell it. G U A R A N T Y. G U A R A N T A N. T E. I thought it was two E. No, I said A S. Two E. G U. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. I remember to. N-T-E-G. <laughs> G-U- You're so funny. A-R- A-N-T. Okay. okay, you said N-T. A-N-T. E. Two E's? Oh, I spelled it right. Thanks. G-U-A- Grant E. E. Guar-N-T. 
Blunt Ram T. <laughs> Sorry, no, that'd be 72 T. Almost Blunt G. Ram E. Yeah. Almost guaranteed. Is that a D? <laughs> With a touch. There. So I said, uh, cast on a friend and they deliver in the hefty negative and almost guaranteed that they touch. Does that sound right? Yes. And the other stipulation is you have to actually touch your friend. It's not ranged. Gross. Put it on them. Range. What's the duration? Of touch. But it stays on there. One round per level. You put it on your one friend for one round per level. One, two, three, four, five. Duration. One, two. Five, one, five, two, one, two, five. Two, five. One, Got it. Just through third level, right? Per uh, just through third level. Yeah. I'm not quite at fourth level yet. I'll get there though. Well, I never cast that spell. Or that right. spell. Yeah. I don't like the implication that nature's giving me that spell. Yeah. Sure. Check your, uh, your it's the second levels yeah. down toward the bottom. So there's that and there's that. I mean, we're getting here through our big set. And that. There's that. So I have these that. in time to memorize them, cast them, or memorize them. Yes. <laughs> not the six. I can't use this. I guess I can transfer up to you, but it's not working. Okay. Spells good. Yep. Uh, Meeting them in the morning. Well, so, yes. Morning is it morning? It's not actually. It's like middle of the night. <laughs> Meeting them in the middle of the night. It takes, it takes me an hour to craft a crew bow. Which I'm going to do. Okay. Did you want to check first and see if there was something in the vicinity? Oh, I'm a pencil. Or are you just going to make one for yourself? You're really fine. I mean, yeah, if there's something it's not available, but I don't want to go wandering. It's no. Like Since we already figured out wandering could be bad. Sure, okay. um, so you asked Eva Mel, yeah. and she said, oh, it should be fine. And do you need a long bow, a short bow, a long composite bow, a short composite bow? Is our efficiency is different for the composite? Yeah. Yes. Do you has one item? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's just normal on I don't know. Okay, a normal on So you need a normal on sure. I think it's normal. Okay. So, yes, she can get you a normal longbow, or you can craft one. Either way, your choice. Um, or both. Possibly. <laughs> Might not be a bad idea considering how this has been going lately. Yeah. And we need to get, we need to get time for the, to spend the nine days and craft one that gives me my strength bonus. I hear you. Okay, so I will check and see if there's what you can get one made for strength just to give you a 15% chance. Nope. However, I think she does, the one that she does get you is, uh, she tells you that it is um, magical in nature, and it will give a bonus to hit and damage, and that bonus will be slightly better versus larger than man-sized creatures. Nice. Beyond that, you'll have to figure it out. Full of giant sling. Surprise over land on the premises. To him, all bows are bows of giant slaying. Right now, especially. <laughs> we don't have any idea of what we might be going up against. Um, dark layers of under civilization, led by Stropal, who might be a sinister evil. So, Demu will mention that nature. Follower of Loki. Nature is giving him. That's about what you know. A lot of things that resolve around poison traps, and disease. Traps, magic. Yeah, there you go. So he so, says lots of poison and disease. Well, yeah, but he's getting those in the same time I'm getting mine. So. Well, but sooner because yeah, five but five hours. Yeah, so he's done at the six hour mark. So the last roughly four hours, you could have that insight if you want. So I got a cure disease. I got a slow poison and an attack poison.
Check out Amal Dan Inc. for incredible opportunities to support the ministry. So I feel like they definitely talked team. about traps. They talked about infiltrating his like treasure hoard. They talked about layers of society of different like races. Yeah, My only question is, I love this new home person variant, but it's only good for one target. So you think it's worth taking another one? I or not. I'm breaking down a fifth into a third and two thirds. I think fighting mass might be better for you because we have plenty of take out one guy really hard. We have a lot of that as, as a party. But we don't have a lot of take out a lot of guys. I'm just stuck. But we'll be you take that Halen's bow, but it just gives everybody a plus one to hit damage. Particularly Very useful and like drawn out. Yeah. Is Caleb's yeah. bow stacked with magic uh, weapons? Yeah, it's like not even. Um, Your not very might be useful. It lasts a long time, so it's not pretty good. Not very, pretty good. What's the duration on it? Duration is, uh, doesn't start until they use the bow. It's an eight hour duration, but it's one round per level after you start using it. You can break it up, so if you want the combat lasts for three rounds, it only counts for three rounds out of the nine that you get during the eight hour period. And the eight hours doesn't start counting until the first time they use it? Or the eight minutes doesn't start counting? No, it lasts for eight hours from time of casting until the end. Okay. Any time in the eight hours, they have nine individual rounds. Of nine rounds where it's in the bonus. You've done it before, I remember. Yeah. Well, that means probably two combats. Yeah. Or one very drawn out combat, which could be a lot of hits and damage. Yeah. Might be worth it now that people are getting like. The problem is, our factors are getting to the point where plus one to hit really doesn't matter too much. No, but plus one to damage, that could be like, so if it's nine rounds and say five people hit, which they would hit with or without the plus one, and so that's negligible, it's 45 extra points of damage. Which you can't even roll that on a fireball. I mean, could maybe, but it's very unlikely. All right, let's, let's get a combat in so I can identify the seven target level real quick. Step outside. There's, yeah, there's you go outside anybody you want, yeah. Stay tuned for more Lomunian adventures.